So here we are on the tablebacktrainer.com website. I'm just going to show you how I use these types and views plugins. And straight away, if you look on the right hand side, I've got five latest deals and offers and we've got a list of the latest deals and offers. And this list is generated using the views plugin. And if I click see all deals and offers, it'll take me through to a new page that has a huge list of all the different offers that have been put on the site and it gives you the title of the offer, which retailer it's at, and then the date the offer was put on the website. And this is all generated using the views plugin. And if you actually click on the individual offer, it takes us through to a simple page, just showing you the offer. And this page is created and laid out using the types plugin, because this is a custom post type just for offers. And if you have a look here in the URL, you'll see it's got the offers category or custom post type link there. And on this page, we've got everything automatically set up using custom fields. So here we have an affiliate link custom field and also the image. So this is generated automatically. And if I click here, it takes me through to the Evan Cycles website where you can get the offer. But also, and the image does the same thing. And also we have links at the bottom that they're automatically generated because we've set up the custom post types. So you can click here and see more offers just by this retailer, which is Evan Cycles. So if I click here, this takes you to the Evan Cycles page, which again is another custom post and it's got a list of all the Evan Cycles only deals. And if you go back again, got a link here to see all cycling deals and offers. If you go back to the homepage, the main aim of this website is to tell people about turbo trainers, which are devices that let you use your road bike indoors, you know, during the winter months or if you can't get out. And I basically want to show people the different kinds, recommend kinds, and then show them where they can buy it for as cheaply as possible. So we click on find a trainer. You'll see I have a huge list of turbo trainers down the middle here. There's lots and lots of different kinds. And this huge list was generated using the views plugin. So I've got custom post types for each trainer. And then this layout here just pulls in a feature image, the title and the RLP to show. And you can also filter the results. So I can say, just show me trainers between 100 and 200 pounds, because this is a UK site. I'll do a filter. And now you see the results have all got an RLP between one and 200 pounds. And then you can filter it again. Say you just want to see Cyclops, a certain brand filter. So now we only have Cyclops trainers of which there are three between 100 and 200 pounds. And this whole thing, this filter and this list is generated using the views plugin. And if you click on an individual turbo trainer, takes us through to a product page and this is all laid out and this is a turbo trainer custom post type and it's got lots of custom fields that are displayed nicely so we've got the ROP brand model breaking system and more and these are all custom fields that we set up feature image and we have a, a price comparison unit which is displayed using the, um, the views and types plugins but this is actually a different plugin called data feed we used to generate this price comparison and you see here we've got a description and if you look at another one so this cyclone you'll see this is laid out exactly the same but we've got different values here different description and more images and this is all generated using the types plugin to create a custom post type and then styled like this using the views plugin so this is how I use it here on the turbobiketrainer.com website. So here we have another website. This is skiinstructorcourses.com and this uses the types and views plugins a lot to generally style and structure the site. So the main part you can see here is ask a question. So the whole point in the website is for people to get information about becoming ski instructors and finding courses they can go on. So if you've got a question about anything to do with being a ski instructor you can ask it on the website and here we just have a link and this is a css styled link here and you can click it and it takes you to a page to ask a question but when you do submit a question 
it gets displayed here and these are the most recent questions the five most recent questions and it automatically the title of the question gets displayed here and this is styled and set up using the views plugin and you can click here to see all questions and answers so if you click that then you come to this main questions and answers page and this is all set up and styled using the views plugin so you can see all the questions that have been submitted and using our views plugin we said just pull in the question title the question and then show if there's any comments and we've also automatically added a google adsense ad unit here and that's all done using the plugin so this gets automatically put here and we can filter these and again this filter is done using the views plugin so for example we can say just show me questions to do with ski instructor courses in canada so there we go here's a list of them and if we click on the individual question this goes to a custom post type which we've set up using the types plugin and again automatically puts this add unit in here so we don't have to go in every time so the user the person who comes to the website asks a question and it automatically generates this layout exactly like this we don't need to worry about putting in this advert or putting in these fields automatically gets done for us so it shows us the title of the question when it was posted who it was posted by the question and then it also shows you what countries and qualifications it's related to and it gives you an option to leave a reply and this is just a new question in fact it was only posted today 3rd of november which is when i'm recording this so there's no answers yet but if we go back to previous questions you will see for example this one here how to become a ski instructor total newbie was done in june and you see it's all styled exactly the same but here we have three replies to the question and this is all done using the types plugin and again if we go back to the home page you see at the bottom we've got find a ski instructor company we've got a grid here of logos for the different ski companies and this is generated using the views plugin and you can see these are all links and these actually link through to profile pages for each of these individual companies and we can filter this by say just show me companies that do say the nzsia level one which is a new zealand ski qualification so just go filter and now it takes us to a new page it only shows the companies that do this new zealand one and here it's got the grid automatically generated the first one in the grid is again a google advert just to generate a little bit of income this way on the site and then we have the logos of three companies that are members of the website and they have set up full profile pages and we also have links without a logo which are for non-members and if we click on one of these links it takes us through to a profile page for the ski company and you see it's a custom post type called ski companies so again this is all set up using the types plugin and the styling the layout like this is done using the views plugin it's come together so here you see we've got the logo where they do the qualifications and quick links to their social pages and websites and we have the content images and then at the bottom we have a contact form to contact the company and also these embedded add units so this is all done and styled and set up using the types and views plugin and then finally if you click on find a course this takes us to the main ski instructor training companies page which you can filter or you can search for a ski company and this is all generated using the types and views plugins so here we are on my personal website neilcurtis.me and here where we use the types and views plugins it's more subtle than some of my other websites but this section here which is latest tutorial and it pulls in this image that links you to the tutorial pulls in the title and a bit of text and also puts these buttons to view the tutorial or see more tutorials this whole area is created using the views plugin and what it does is it looks at the custom post type which i've set up for guides and then it pulls in the image of the latest guide and then all this other information so this is what we use the views plugin for here 
And if I click more tutorials, you see I've got a list and they're, they're set up into different groups. So gravity forms, types and views, data feeder. So if we tip, click on the types and views, it just shows you a list of tutorials I've made using the types and views plugins or about the types and views plugins. And this page here is generated using the views plugin itself. So it's only displaying the custom post types that have been tagged with a certain custom field, in this case, types and views. So it's not showing any of the other tutorials, only these types and views tutorials. And then we can click through and visit the actual guide or tutorial. And you'll see this is a custom post type called guides. So this is a special custom post type that is set up using the types plugin, which lets me structure and display my site exactly how I want to. And what this does is it just shows you social share icons, a bit of content, and then also this area at the bottom that lets you find out more about me and this website. And it's got these nice CSS effects. So this is quite a simple layout for a custom post type, but it's just showing you what I've done here using the types and views plugins. So this is a website, Cycle Run Road, UK, and it's just a simple affiliate website that's talking about home fitness equipment. So it's exercise bikes, treadmills, row machines, that kind of thing. And I use the Types and Views plugins mainly to have a custom post types for the different product pages and also to display them in a grid list. So if I go to this exercise bike area, you see I have this filter option and then a big list of different kinds of exercise bikes that are all on the website. So each exercise bike has its own custom post type and here we put in a bit of information such as what it's called, images, some specifications and then the views plugin is used to pull in the information we need and display it in this nice grid list here and also to generate this filter. So we can filter it down by you know the type of exercise bike or a brand or what kind of resistance it's got or a price range. So we'll say we just want high end exercise bikes. So we'll say five to seven hundred pounds. Then I'll filter this, and you'll see it's just showing the higher priced products. And if we click on one of these takes us through to an individual product page which is a custom post type and it's just a very simple page it's not it's not very elegant but it does what it needs to do so the page is set up to display a google ad unit here we've got a bit of original content here about the bike then we have this link here which automatically puts in the name of the bike and also shows where you can buy it from Amazon. So this links through to Amazon to buy this particular bike. Then we have an image and then a bit of description and then another ad unit. So all this is automatically set up using the types and views plugins. So we don't need to put in the ad unit every time. You just set it up and it does it automatically. So this is how I use types and views on this website.